Make myself look pretty. Hey guys, what's up? It's Jared here, and I'm coming to you with a little video today. Um, this video is going to be about what is on my devices. Common for YouTubers to do like uh, what's on my dock for their phones, or if they have Macs, you know, what's on their Mac dock um, for stuff like that. So I just kind of wanted to make an all encompassing video about what's on my desktop computer, my laptop, and my phone. Um, and I will be doing a full tour of my phone eventually, and I'm not covering my theater PC because I actually already have a video up of that. So, the link's going to be right in the description for those things uh, when they're released and when they're ready to view and all that stuff. But this video is going to cover the desktop, my phone's dock, and my home pages of the phone, as well as my laptop. Alright, so let's get started. Alright, real quick, let's just try to knock out the phone. There will be a separate video on this, so I'm uh, not going to go too into detail, but just going to knock out the icons on my dock really quick. Alright, so here's the phone. It's the HTC One M7. I'm going to turn it on. And on my lock screen, the default apps I have at the bottom, I have the Make Call, Messaging, of course the Unlock, uh, my Music Logo, and my Camera Icon and I can use these to access because they're most of what I'm going to need from the lock screen. So we go to my default main, uh, main screen, home screen. On my dock we have the contacts button, course messaging, app selection, and then we have music and the camera. So pretty similar except uh, phone is up here and contacts is down there. That got changed around because Usually once my phone is open, I'm not going to be making many calls anyways. So, when I need to make a call, I can do that from the lock screen easier than it is to, to keep this taking up an icon space down there all the time. Alright? Uh, I just drop my phone on the floor, and when I get to making the actual video, go into a little bit more detail about how everything works together, the launcher that I'm using, and all that info. Alright guys, so next I'm moving on to the desktop computer. Alright, so now we're on the computer. So let's minimize uh, our recorder here. Uh, the recorder I'm using right now to record the screen is Bandicam. I use Bandicam to record my screen in DXTory when I'm using, playing, recording games and stuff like that. Alright, so this is what my uh, desktop looks like. Very simple. Um, I try to keep it very clean. I have three monitors and I'll cross all three monitors. This is all I have for icons, but I keep those on the second monitor and then I right click and make sure my desktop icons are off. Alright, so let's, let's start on the left. I customized my start button. This is a obviously my logo. Uh, made it white for a start button and use the start button customizer to customize that. You can find all kinds of tutorials online about how to do that. Um, very very simple stuff uh, using Photoshop and stuff like that um, so as you can see I keep it as minimalist as I possibly can don't like a lot of icons definitely try to keep it minimalist so we'll start at the start menu um, up here I have iTunes which iTunes actually automatically added it there it doesn't need to be there I just never cared enough to get rid of it snipping tool this is how I take screenshots of stuff um, a lot of people don't realize that snipping tools built into Windows, but if I wanted to take a screenshot of something, I actually can, just like this. Uh, I don't know if that actually recorded or not, but let's hope it did. But, yeah, that's how you take a screenshot of stuff, and then you can upload that to Facebook. So when I'm doing Facebook and stuff like that, I can do that. So this is called Umark. Umark is an application that is used for watermarking photos. I use it when I watermark my pictures to upload to Facebook uh, for photography and stuff like that. Um, and I also use it to resize images to get the best quality on Facebook. Steam, I use that obviously for games. So DxTory, which I said I already I use for uh, recording game footage. Uh, and I use Bandicam right here for recording screen footage. Calculator, um, Normally, I'm too lazy to pull out an actual calculator, 
so I just pull up the built-in calculator on Windows not a big deal so uh, use that for calculation synergy synergy is an application that allows you to cross platform mice in keyboards so um, if I have synergy installed on another computer in my room uh, as long as they're on the same network I can actually hook it up to where I can plug in mouse and keyboard into my desktop computer and then with the click of my scroll lock button that mouse will automatically jump off of this screen and go to the screen of the other computer and then I can use the mouse and keyboard to work the computer so basically eliminated the need for me to keep a keyboard and mouse underneath my desk to use with the other computer uh, Adobe Media Encoder use this to encode videos when I'm usually usually when I'm only doing one video I let it go right inside of Premiere but if I'm working on two or three uh, mostly like gaming video episodes I knock them out in Media Encoder by lining them up all in one alright so we'll go down here uh, here you can obviously see we have Firefox um, I always have Firefox open on my third monitor over on the right side so you can see I have Facebook open right now actually I'm looking at it right now um, I prefer Firefox to Chrome uh, just a personal preference you know I have nothing really against Chrome but I've always been a Firefox user and I tried out Chrome and I don't hate it but I don't love it so and then of course I always keep a file explorer window on there uh, I use iTunes for managing my music uh, a lot of people don't really like iTunes but I think iTunes is one of the few things that Apple's done really well uh, I prefer iTunes a lot to Windows Media Player uh, so for playing my music Evernote I use Evernote obviously to take notes uh, keep a lot of my video ideas in there as well as just other random stuff Adobe Illustrator use that obviously for creating vector files uh, designing my shirts, design my shirts in Illustrator Adobe Bridge, I use Adobe Bridge when I'm looking at pictures um, I edit in Adobe Bridge uh, look at my raw files send them to Camera Raw and then to Photoshop to edit so Adobe Bridge is kinda like my file viewer when I'm editing photos because Windows can't natively view the raw files of course we have Photoshop uh, obviously I use Photoshop to Photoshop pictures and then Premiere is obviously for editing videos I'm using CS6 I don't have CC because I'm in college and I'm broke so I just figured I will stick with CS6 because right now I mean there's some cool new features coming to CC but nothing that's really saying man I really gotta fork out a buttload of money to get that so and of course I use After Effects for doing all my animations and stuff like that. Okay, and then this is a little program called uh, Stack Stacks, um, and it's basically like if you've ever done stacks in uh, a Mac, it can do it basically just like that. Um, it's not something that I, I use a whole lot, but I keep it there just in case I need it. Uh, it doesn't take up a whole lot of resources. I think it takes up two megabytes of RAM the whole time it's running, so it's not something that bothers me a whole lot but allows you to basically have a bunch of shortcuts and I figured it'd be a lot smoother integration than running a, like a dock on the side of my screen for launching my game so here I just have all of my games inside and I can launch them all alright moving on uh, over here my tray icons you can see I have the volume icon uh, action center is just a bunch of bull crap that I don't care about Dropbox obviously Bandicam because it's running Corsair uh, gaming software that's for my computer or my keyboard I'm using a Corsair K30 so uh, some wireless card information and stuff like that and that's about it for the computer so I think next we're going to be moving on to the tablet alright so the first step we need to do with the tablet is take it off my Samsung dock and here we go it's a very 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 simple setup uh, not too crazy I only keep the basics on here because I only do a certain amount of activities on here. I use my tablet for a very specific set of tasks, so I don't need a whole lot. So on my lock screen, we have S Note. I I use a combination of S Note and Papyrus right here for taking notes. Uh, S Note is not vector, while Papyrus is, but S Note has a few cool features, and I really like the the handwriting style in S Note. 
All right, here we have a gallery, um, just reviewing pictures. Uh, we have the Dolphin Browser. I'm using Dolphin Browser on here because I prefer the full screen effect and the way it works. And of course, File Explorer. Go away, go down. All right, so on here we have, um, this is actually uh, Canvas. It's an application for, it's called a learning management system. It's an application for keeping track of your classes and uh, all that stuff. Hold on, I'm gonna adjust the camera setting here so you guys can see a little bit better. All right, and then I have a couple of games up top. And this is a uh, application for managing your money. Um, again, Canvas is used for school. Uh, you use it to keep track of your data for school classes, uh, grades, and turning in stuff like that. Evernote down at the bottom, Dolphin Browser, Papyrus, and then a uh, thing for my launcher, just a settings button. Scroll over, we have a little weather widget, and then we have my PNC Bank app for my PNC Bank account. Then we have the YouTube icon for launching up YouTube, ES File Explorer, and the Play Store. Go over again, we have a clear memory button. We have um, Quick Pick, which I use for looking at pictures. Uh, I prefer over Samsung's default gallery, even though I had <laughs> the default gallery right on the home screen or on my lock screen. Uh, Pixlr editor for editing pictures, HDR camera for taking HDR pictures, and VSCO cam for those. So, scroll over here, we have this, which is called, I think it's Falcon Widget. Um, it's a Twitter feed widget. You use it to display Twitter feeds. And then we have Vine uh, for watching Vines, obviously, Instagram for you using Instagram, obviously, Google Plus, and Facebook. You can tell this is definitely a social media page uh, used for doing social media. And then over here we have, uh, this is kind of my remote section. I have two remote apps. Uh, this one's called the Samsung IR Universal Remote, compatible with Samsung systems, and this one's called Max Remote. Uh, basically the Note 10.1 that I'm using, oops, geez, I'm dropping everything today. The Note 10.1 I'm using has an IR receiver built in, just like my HTC One does. Um, and you can use it as a remote. So, um, I keep those remote apps on there to control my TV and stuff like that. Here we have DSLR controller for using this as a monitor, even though I don't have the right cable for it. Um, and we have the GoPro app for controlling Cody's GoPro. And that's very, that's it. That's very simple. Um, all that I have on my tablet because I only use it for mostly taking notes. I use Papyrus and S-Note a lot for taking handwritten notes. And that's basically all I use that for. So uh, next I guess we're going to move on to the laptop. Alright, so now we're on the laptop. Uh, this is my personal laptop. It is running Windows 8.1 and you can see it's a very similar setup as uh, the desktop. I keep a simplified background except on my laptop since this is a uh, portable machine in case I ever lose it I would keep my name and phone number down here for contact uh, I'm gonna have that blocked out in the video my phone number I don't need people calling me and stuff but just in case I ever lost the laptop you know it'd be right there on my desktop for people to see and uh, contact me alright so Windows 8.1 so I obviously don't have a start menu not even gonna go to the start screen because I never use it so I'm just going to go with what's on my dock because this is used for school mostly. Um, don't use it for much else. You know, maybe some quick video editing and a little bit of photoshopping on the go. But other than that, I really don't use the laptop for much. So uh, the design is very, very minimal. Only stuff I need for school. So, of course, all, all the way on the left, we got File Explorer. Uh, then we have Firefox again. And you can see I got some school stuff set up there. And then right here we have Evernote, of course, for taking notes. iTunes, of course, for listening to music. Then we have Celtics, which is a script writing application. Um, I don't really like to sit down on my desktop to write scripts. You know, I like to write scripts on the go. Um, in a more comfortable place, like on my bed or in the living room. So 
don't do that on my desktop I do that on my laptop and occasionally on my tablet I do a little bit of it um, so I keep Celtics for writing my scripts on the laptop and then right there I have uh, Office 2010 um, my brother has Office 2013 but I couldn't find the DVD when I was installing Office so I'm like Office 2010 is good enough for me uh, I'm not gonna complain about it. it doesn't bother me that much because I barely use it I just use it for basic stuff so I got a uh, word oops didn't mean to open that word PowerPoint outlook for uh, my school email and Excel and then of course I have my Adobe suite I have uh, Illustrator, Bridge, Premiere, and Photoshop and you can see how I uh, did this on the desktop too although I didn't point it out I organized these by uh, their color I don't know why I'm weird and I like to do that so uh, then here we have code blocks um, code blocks is a coding application it can do C and C++ and I think it can also do Java um, I uh, I'm taking a couple of coding classes in school and uh, well I like coding and uh, we I used to use Eclipse but I was a unable to uh, get Eclipse working on this computer so I downloaded Coblox as my new uh, development environment I have Eclipse and if I ever get that working I'm going to replace uh, code blocks with Eclipse because I like Eclipse a lot better uh, but that's my preferred development environment very nice uh, very simple and easy to use and then over here we have uh, Beats Audio this is an HP laptop you know the HP laptops come with Beats Audio um, and I just really like I like having the Beats Audio activated because laptop speakers are notably have like zero bass so being able to hear some bass come out of a laptop speaker it's like wow it's pretty awesome so I like to keep the bass turned up a little bit just on my laptop speakers in most situations you know I like to try to have a pretty balanced audio but I'm not I just like to be able to hear that bass on a laptop speaker and then Evernote and then the rest of the stuff is just you know uh, the default stuff that comes on the computer and that's about it so that's I guess that that'll conclude this video you know we've gone through a number of devices and ended right here on the laptop alright guys so uh, thanks for watching hope you have a great day and maybe see you next time in the next video maybe I don't know like subscribe do all the stuff that the youtubers tell you to do alright guys peace